Yeah, I'm installing a uh, sliding door here. There used to be a normal swinging door, but the, our laundry room was so small that we couldn't have the door swinging in, so it used to swing out in the hallway. And it was always in the way, so uh, I removed the door. Uh, pry bar took all the uh, door casing off, and then I uh, put some gyp rock up over the studding, and then I applied some uh, uh, corner bead, some tin corner bead, and I just cut it to fit with a normal pair of tin snips. And then I uh, crimping tool, and they do a pretty good job. And then after I crimped it, then I took uh, normal gyprock nails, and uh, I like tacking, maybe in the middle on, on each end, just gives you a little extra security. And after I got that, I uh, taped my corners, and I also like to put a, some tape here because this is a bad place for cracking to be, so I put tape here and in here. Yeah, I put a liter of water or a quart of water in my bucket here and I'm going to add some CGC uh, Sheetrock 45 drywall compound. And this stuff dries in 45 minutes so that's plenty of time. So I like to mix this just a, a little bit at a time. I find if I put too much in it really gets clumped. In. dry stuff off the side. Throw it in. Yeah, that's the consistency I want for corner bead. Nice and thick. Okay, the first thing I like to do is the top. And I got uh, an 8 inch knife. You can do this with a trowel if you'd like, but I prefer the knife. And just start in the corner and across. First pass, keep your knife fairly straight up and down. And then on the final pass, just kind of feather it in there. That just kind of smoothes it out. There. So this is the first coat, so you don't have to be too fussy. This.
Yeah, that's the uh, first coat. Okay, my first coat's dry now. Just take your knife and just lightly go over it. Just take off any high spots or ridges. Okay, that's my second coat. Okay, my second coat is dry and it looks pretty good. Uh, really, I don't have to put a finish coat on that. A little touch up and some sanding would be good, but I'm going to put a finish coat on just for a demonstration. And you want to do like you did between your first and second coat. Just go over with a, with your knife, a light scrape just to take off any high, any high spots. Okay, with your finish coat, it's really easy. It's just a matter of putting it on and wiping it off. Again, I start up high. That does a really nice job. So I like using an eight inch knife. I find it gives me a nice, a nice smooth finish. Okay, my drywall uh, dried overnight. I had to put a fan on where I'm in the basement here. It's a bit damper. So I uh, had a fan running all night and it dried it up good. Now I got a, <clears throat> my sanding pole. I got 120 grit sanding paper on there, which is a, a lighter sandpaper. Some people use an 80, but I find it uh, really grinds the drywall off too much. And so just, just lightly go over it. Okay, I got everything sanded, and before I start painting, I want to. This is the bracket for my sliding door track. I mean, it's just a piece of two by four. I just ripped it uh, two inches wide and sanded it down. Put my screws in, and I got my marks up on the wall here. So I just want to check to make sure this fits up top. Got my mark. spot right here. I have to sand that down. And I got uh, 80, no, uh, 60 grit uh, paper on there and that'll grind that down pretty fast. Just a little bit more. There. 
That's better. That's better. And I'll just uh, finish sanding that with my uh, 120. Take that uh, roughness off. There, now I can paint. Okay, I got everything painted and I'm ready to put my track up on my sliding door. And what I want to do is pre-drill these holes. I've just taken the rail and I fastened it through my bracket here. It's just a ripped piece of 2x4. I already got my screws in here. Okay, I'm going to put my little wheels in here, and what they'd like you to do is they'd like you to stagger these. There's uh, two wheels on one side and one on the other. So we'll put the first set in like this. Two on that side, and then we'll put the two wheels on this side. Okay, now I've attached my brackets onto the top of my door, and they'd like you to have this clip on the outside of the door. So, and make sure that you have both clips out there. There's one. Clip into place. And clip. There. Okay, I put a stopper on the back of my door here. That's just to protect it when it goes into the wall. I might put a piece of wood here later on just to protect that drywall. There, I got my handles on. Now these are really simple to put on. You can buy these at a hardware store. Anyway, they're 30 inches from the bottom of the door, which is normal for, uh, for a handle or a doorknob. You know, I have to put a guide in here to keep the door from rubbing on the wall as it goes back and forth. So what I did... I uh, just ripped this uh, small board. It's a quarter of an inch and I countersinked my screws and what I'll do is I'll place that in here. Okay, I'm using uh, one and a quarter inch screws which will go through the jip rock and into the studding. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of this uh, paste wax which will just help the door slide a little better. Just a little, just a little coat on there. Makes that nice and slippery. There, slides, oh yeah, slides really nice and easy. Okay, I've made this little uh, roller here. It's just a piece of wood. I cut it out with my uh, circle saw and sanded it down and put some varathane on it and I countersunk. And this is my uh, concrete anchor, which fits in here, so it'll spin around good. Now what I gotta do is figure out where it goes. So what I got is my punch, and I need to do is I need to close the door and. I got to mark where the end of the door comes because I don't want my roller to be on the other side of the line. Uh, my roller here, and then I put my punch, which I can hold to the concrete, and then slide the door and just see there. Yeah, 
I want it so it just barely touches. So I have to take my punch. And mark where I need to drill. There's my punch mark. And you notice I put a piece of tape on here. This is the mark, mark the depth that I need to go. <clears throat> and Okay, and I got my roller onto the uh, concrete anchor, and I'm putting a washer in here, just on the bottom. That'll allow that to turn a little better. And then sink that in there. I'm gonna need a hammer. Tighten this up. Put a little wax in that. Yeah, put a little wax there. And put a little in here. Washer. Yeah, that turns a little easier. Oh yeah, that's a lot better. There. Okay, I've cut this little block of wood. This is going to be my stop for my door. Yeah, bring the door across. Let's see. Okay. And so what I've done is I've partially uh, <clears throat> screwed my screws in here and they're sticking it a little bit out the other side. So if I just tap them it'll mark where I need to drill right there okay I'm just gonna drill in some pilot holes just to make it easier for driving my screws in Now I'm going to put on these little self-adhesive corks. Just there, you get these at the hardware store too. They're easy. There, perfecto. One sliding door.